it just feels like everything you do has to, you have to go to ground on everything. You have to primary source everything. Um, you triple confirm it, you quadruple confirm it. Um, because I think the preponderance of the fake information has also, though, forced us to have a reckoning about how many times um, uh, we're not doing our due diligence. And I stand by my network and I feel like we, um, we do the work and I'm proud of the product that we put out. Um, but uh, I think we have to be more honest about how we do our work because there is such a trust gap now and people just don't believe anything. They're like, oh, that video must be doctored and I don't know if that person even said that. I mean, it's just we're living like crazy times. So we take it really seriously and we are very cognizant that um, in order to preserve that trust, we need to be more transparent about how we do our work. So I think how, how that manifests is that you will hear us more often, reporters in particular, say, you know, I called these three people and this is the information that I got. Or just to pull the curtain back a little bit about the reporting process, like journalism is not a science. So the more you can be transparent about the conversations you had and why you make the decisions that you do, the more people will come back to you and trust you.